I was prepared to do some work. I didn't realize a little bit how hard it was going to be. <laughs> but, um, but I also knew it was going to be hard because I'd already been trying throughout my life, you know, the kind of the yo-yo dieting, trying things that would work for a while and wouldn't work after a while. So I guess, you know, being in late 60s, um, many years ago when I went through menopause, everything started to change. So the yo-yo dieting, none of that was working, the starvation diet. So it really became a matter of trying to figure out what I needed to do to stay the path. And so that's kind of what I was looking for. I think it all started probably when I was a child because I grew up in that era in the 50s where, you know, you had to clean your plate and grew up knowing that you couldn't leave the dinner table or the lunch table until every speck of food was off your plate. So it became kind of a, a punishment. And so if I went to lunch with friends, I had to eat everything. And I wouldn't necessarily be hungry, but it just became a habit. I had tried some cleanses. I had tried, you know, buying the products where you follow a certain path of food eating certain days, um, then counting all of your um, nutrition throughout the day. I mean, it, and for me, it would just, it would last for a while, but then I would find that it wasn't really taking care of what was going on for me because I was still always hungry. I was eating well, but I was noticing several things. I live in the mountains, do a lot of hiking and biking, and I couldn't keep up with my friends, but yet I was eating all the time or eating what I thought was appropriate and doing the smoothies. But nothing was really working. I didn't have the energy and I felt guilty if I ate anything that wasn't supposed to be on that day's menu plan. First of all, it was one-on-one -on -one with you because some of the other programs were um, online, uh, Facebook, social media. I am not that person. Uh, I really want to engage with somebody and I want somebody to help me become accountable to me. It's not that I need somebody to be my crutch, but I really wanted to know the, kind of the, the steps to help me to get to where I needed to be. And what I loved about working with you, Lisa, is um, I started getting, and, and as you know, when I met you, I was doing a lot of pantry diving. And we have a walk-in pantry and the, there's a, a spare refrigerator in there. So there was easy access to wine, there was easy access to snacks. And I would just stand in there and I would eat and drink. And then I would, you know, go back and tell myself, okay, I'm staying accountable to the foods that I should eat. But what I noticed when I started working with you is you had this emotion checklist. So I put it up in the pantry and I started looking at what were my emotions when I was in there that were driving me to feel like I was hungry, to feel like I needed to eat and wanted to eat? So what I have found with working with you is that it's not about the food, really. It's about, it's about life. It's about relationships, friendships, um, weather <laughs> it's about so many different things that stop you from doing what you might have planned for that day that you know when that when the little apple cart gets upset well then you just go and you pig out on everything instead of learning to be mindful and focus on okay what's the trigger here food just became crutch as did alcohol and now it's interesting, I don't think about food hardly ever during the day. And then sometimes I have to remind myself, okay, you've got some activity coming up. You do need to eat for that activity. My diet is better. Uh, I don't think about weight. I go by the clothes in my closet. And as you know, I had some skinny clothes that I left in my closet and um, I wear those and they're kind of my goal and I wait once every two weeks or so and I'm just staying where I want to be. 
and I gave away all of my heavier clothes because I felt like that could be something to slip into. No mm -hmm. pun intended there, but uh, so anyway, I've just, it's just interesting how my mindset now just doesn't even think about the food. Well, I would definitely say to work with you. <laughs> And for me, I mean, again, I'm just going to say, you know, I'm in my late 60s. And I think that sometimes being in this stage, we have a lifelong of habits that haven't necessarily been serving us. So if they haven't been, why not invest in yourself to find out what you need to serve yourself, to make yourself finish out the rest of your years in a way that you're happy and relaxed with food. We, you know, it just became so cumbersome to want to go and be with friends and have to be worried about food. And, you know, can I go out to a restaurant tonight? And I don't worry about that. And I don't worry about bringing food home or leaving food on the plate. And um, I have a habit now that I'll go online the night before. I know we're gonna be going out and I look at the menu and I just really have that already planned. So I walk in and I can order quickly and order what I want that I know is going to serve me and be okay. If I have a glass of wine, I have a glass of wine. I don't let it beat me up.